Hi guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own DIY corkboard. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that red button down below for more videos. Sit back, enjoy, and let's get started. The supplies that you are going to need are glue sticks, some gems in different colors, thumbtacks, notepads, I did find a couple of different cute ones that I liked, paint brushes, acrylic paint, clothes pins, a glue gun, and also a 12 by 12 cork board. I found mine in a four pack, but you're only going to need one for this project. A couple of supplies I forgot to mention are painter's tape to tape off lines on the corkboard and a pen if you would like to draw your idea out. First step is to create shapes with the tape to make geometric designs. Make sure to firmly press down on the tape to have nice crisp lines. If not, the paint may creep under it and you might have to do a little bit of a touch up. So next, I will be using a flat brush to paint on the first color. You might have to swirl and wiggle your brush around to get the paint into the texture of the corkboard. It really depends on how opaque you want your paint to look. So um, just swirl it in and try to get it in as best as you can. I have placed the corkboard aside to allow it to dry and will now show you how to make the adorable push pins to match. I am placing the thumbtacks where I want them glued. I didn't realize I wasn't in frame for this portion of the video, but all you need to do is squeeze a dot of glue onto the thumbtack or the clothespin and press it down firmly to secure. Remove the strings of glue and you are done with your clothespins. You can also take it a step further if you like and paint them. Now for the fabulous jewels. I am once again placing a dot of glue onto the tack and pressing them together to adhere. Please do be careful. The glue does make the thumbtack a little warm. So if you do have a higher temperature uh, glue gun, it might make it a little bit hotter. Okay, so here are the notepads that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And what I did was I glued tacks onto the back with hot glue. That way you don't have to hot glue the notepad onto the corkboard because if you do that, once you're done with the notepad, you have to peel it off and you'll probably peel off your paint. So it'll be easier to replace the notepads once you're finished with them and also put new ones on when you need them. Once the paint has dried, we can now remove the tape and reveal the design. Take all the tape off and hope it comes out awesome. It's looking good already. Mmm, it's so pretty. Like I said, the design is up to you. However you want to do it is completely and totally you. Okay, whatever you want to do. And here's the finished cork board. I really enjoyed making this tutorial and I hope I inspired you to make your own. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.